Seagulls fly. Seagulls fly? Seagulls fly? Seagulls. Gulls from the sea. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Seagulls. Sea. Like Simba. I like Simba. It's from Lion King. Like, la, siwek, nya, ga, ga, di, do, ba, ba. That's cool. Like when he's on top of this rock. The rock? That's one cool actor there. He was in a movie lately, wasn't he? Is it Baywatch? Baywatch is on the beach. There's seagulls on the beach. And seagulls have wings. Seagulls fly with the wings. <gasps> Wait a minute. Seagulls fly? What? What am I thinking? Maria, what the hell? Just, just focus. Seagulls fly. Seagulls? There's seagulls on the beach. And those yeah. seagulls have wings. Oh, yes. 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 Wait a second. I got it. I can continue now. By the way, what's the time? Holy... Yeah, so, um, that has been happening to me a lot. Hello, ocean people. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. I am Maria, and this is CME. And for those of you who are new here, I am doing my PhD in marine microbiology. As any other PhD student there, we have to read a lot. We have to read to keep track of what is being done in our field, what news are there, what kind of new things people in other labs found out. And also we have to read old papers to kind of know what is already known in our field, also to get ideas for new experiments or to learn about a specific method. So let's just say we have to read a lot. And this week for me specifically was a week where I really, really had to read a lot because right now I'm waiting for some uh, results from a company. I sent some DNA for sequencing and now I need to get back the results so that I can then continue with new experiments and also continue with the statistical analysis. So in this in-between time, I have a lot of time to read, to prepare my uh, experiment, to plan, to have meetings and also, as I said, read a lot. So I've been reading a lot of papers. And sometimes it happens that my brain procrastinates a lot. So procrastination is basically the avoidance of doing something that you know has to be done. And that's what happens with my brain. So he knows he has to read this paper, but he just decides not to. I have... Yeah, I wanted to share this with you. I know this is a problem that many people have. And especially when you have to read a lot for many hours straight, which was my case, for instance, this week. There were days where I was really just reading papers after papers after papers. And at some point, your brain cannot really take this anymore or this amount of information anymore, and it just enters Twilight Zone. So I want to give you also some of my tricks, if you can call them tricks, or what I do in these specific situations when this happens. First of all, I like to listen to music while I read papers, especially if I'm tired or if I'm for some reason unfocused. Listening to music for me really helps. I cannot listen to music with people singing because I will for sure sing along, even if I don't know the lyrics, I will sing along. In my head, not out loud, but in my head I will sing along. But I listen to music without people singing. So, like jazz, classical music, I like a lot. But when I'm really tired, the I have to listen to music that pumps my brain up. And normally this is epic music. <laughs> I just literally type in YouTube, epic music for working. <laughs> and then you have these lists for like three hours of epic music, soundtracks or whatever. And you just I just put them up and like start working. Gonna save the world! And generally this kind of works actually. Um, it, it, it Even if I'm like not in the feeling for listening to music after I do put the music and I, I do realize that it helps me kind of wake up my brain a bit. Also, of course, going, getting up from your seat and go for a walk. Go If you have the opportunity, just go five seconds outside have a deep breath, some fresh air, go back inside and continue what you were doing. For me, it also helps to sometimes just have a productive discussion with someone. So if I'm really feeling like, okay, I really have to work, but I just, for some reason, my brain doesn't want to, I get up and I go to talk to a colleague or to someone to just, sometimes I make a phone call, like some, 
And many, most of these times, it's really just pauses of five to 10 minutes. And normally it, it really helps me become productive again. Or of course, coffee is a thing and, or tea, green tea. I've heard that green tea is better than coffee. I don't know. Uh, for me, both work. I really like coffee and I really like tea. So I know that this is a problem that many people have. And uh, also I didn't want to feel so alone. So write in the comments below if you also feel procrastinated sometimes. Um, probably you do. If you don't, just tell me your secret. In this channel, I also want to kind of share with you the life of a PhD student and the struggles that a PhD student goes through. So not only the scientific part, but what it means to be a PhD student. So I thought that talking about these little parts of being a PhD student, in this case, I think it's a part of being any student. I think this kind of things happens whenever you have to study. I wanted this to be also a bit, uh, kind of a conversation on how being a PhD student is, and especially working in academia, and um, yeah, so this is also why I'm doing this video now. Just want to sh give, share with you a bit of my frustration, basically. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it anyways, all this blah, blah, blah. Like it if you like the video, subscribe if you like the channel, or if you want to see more videos like this, or sometimes a bit more scientific, which are honestly normally my favorite ones to do, but also the ones that take much, much more time. But yeah, do that. And if you also have any further questions or anything you would like to say, write in the description, no, not the description, write in the comment section below, and that's it. Um, see you in the next video, guys. Bye!